Hey, friends. Can actually see your comments because I have the camera facing me or the front of the thing facing me. So good to see you guys here. Let's do some yoga. So find a comfortable seated position if you have a yoga mat on your yoga mat or anywhere that you happen to be doing yoga. <laughs> Turns out you don't actually need a mat for that. Not going to really need any props today. We're going to do a full body class. So hit all the uh, main body areas. And as we're doing our practice today, I invite you to have the intention just to show your body a lot of love. Okay, so doing yoga without uh, thinking that it's going to change you at all, doing yoga without attachment to how you look um, right now, or how you have looked, or how you want to look, and just being fully present in the body that you now have as it is right now. You rest your hands wherever they feel comfortable and start to close your eyes. Notice when you close your eyes, if you normally do yoga or you have done yoga in the past, you probably already start to breathe more deeply. Notice your breath as you breathe. So this relationship that we cultivate through yoga with our breath is probably one of the most beneficial things we do in our practice. And in the age of COVID, <laughs> having strong lungs is going to be something that we really want to have. So as you begin to deepen your breath, let's practice belly breath. So you're going to inhale and fill first your belly, your lower back then the middle of your chest, the middle of your back, and then the top of your chest and shoulders and your upper back. As you exhale, exhaling from the top of your shoulders, upper back and chest, down through the middle of your ribs and to the bottom of your lungs, all the way down to below your belly, to your pelvic floor. And then once again, inhaling, expanding all the way from the bottom of your body, all the way to the top of your head, exhaling from the tippy top of yourself, all the way down to your bottom. So you feel your whole abdomen expand, not just at the front, but the sides and the back. And exhaling, feel how your abdomen, your shoulders, your belly sort of fall back into place on that exhale. So at this subtle level, we really take care of our body with these deep breaths. And it's not that you can actually breathe air into your belly. You really, really wouldn't want that to happen. <laughs> but you get a sense of that from taking these deeper, more intentional inhales and exhales. For now, just let the breath be enough. Just let you sitting here be enough. Just let your body how it is right now be enough. And if you can, breathing through your nose on the inhale and the exhale. Begin to add in that little subtle bit of core work. So on the inhale, allow yourself to expand here. And as you begin to exhale, feel things fall back to, into place and then assist that. Pull your belly button in towards your spine and up towards your lower ribs. Also pulling from your pelvic floor, bringing your pubic bone and your tailbone closer together and your sitting bones closer together. So from those four points, squeezing in and also pulling up towards your navel. And then as you inhale, 
keep some of that tone, but also allow yourself to expand. And as you exhale, begin to tone your belly and pelvic floor, especially toward the end. It'll be easier to squeeze that last bit of air out of your lungs. So going all the way to the end of your exhale so you can't really exhale anymore. And then same thing with your inhale. Without forcing it, without too much effort, inhaling fully, completely, till you can no longer inhale. Really focusing all your awareness on your breath now. And again, allowing for that to be enough. So at the very deepest level, this is core work. This is the core of the core. <laughs> so continue to breathe deeply in this way and we'll use this breath throughout the practice. So start to notice how you're sitting. Notice if you're leaning forward or backward or more heavily on one side of your butt than the other and start to balance that out. Continue to breathe deeply as you sit more evenly on your sitting bones, pull up through the crown of your head, tuck your chin slightly. And feel how your breath moves your body. So again, our intention today, just to give ourselves full acceptance as we are right now, to be with ourselves in this moment presently, not wanting necessarily to change ourselves at least for this hour, really accepting every part of ourselves as we are. You can leave your hands where they are or bring them together in front of your heart. Press your thumbs into your heart, lift your heart up into your thumbs if your hands are together. Either way, sit up tall. And together, let's sing the sound of Om. Take a deep inhale. Begin to open your eyes. Find your way to child's pose at the end of your mat if you're on one. With your big toes together and your knees spread wide. Reach your arms out in front of you. Really, really reach your arms forward so that your elbows are not touching the ground and then press your palms down and your fingertips down. Rest your forehead between your arms and breathe. And again, breathing those belly breaths, using that subtle bit of tension in your belly and pelvic floor at the end of the exhale, especially just to start to warm up uh, the inside of our bodies. So we really pay a lot of attention to the outside of our body. And sometimes it's good to turn that gaze inwards and see what's going on within ourselves. So that's not just your breath. It's not just the sensations that you're feeling, but also the thoughts that you have, especially your recurring thoughts. Take another breath. And keep your arms this active, so you're really reaching forward. Your elbows aren't touching the ground. Walk your upper body over to the right. And then once again, rest your forehead on the floor and just stretch to the side here. And now going to the left, same thing. Walking over to the side, but really keep your arms stretched out far enough away from you that you can't actually rest your elbows on the ground. You're reaching so far ahead that your arms are stretched. 
Nice deep inhales and exhales. Return to child's pose. Press your fingertips down and your thumb tips. Lift the palms of your hands away from the floor. So we'll start to warm up, not just our shoulders now, but our wrists. Really pull your palms away from the floor, creating kind of like little tents or spiders with your hands. And then press your palms down and do the opposite. Lift your thumbs and fingertips away from the ground. So as you inhale, press your palm or fingertips down, lift your palms. And as you exhale, press your palms down, lift your fingertips and your thumbs. And then keep going back and forth. And one more breath, one more time. Use your hands pushing the floor away from you to rise up onto your shins. Tuck your toes underneath your feet and sit back on your heels. This is called broken toe pose for a reason. It's quite intense, especially if you have plantar fasciitis, if you've got that, um, those little tears in the plantar fascia of your feet. So if this is too intense for you, you might actually need to stand on your knees. You'll still get a stretch in the bottom of your feet. If you can, you're going sit, to keep sitting on your heels. And take your arms out in front of you, and you're going to flex your fingers toward, it's actually extend your fingers toward your forearms and push your hands forward. Feel your shoulder blades pull apart. And then tuck your chin and really stretch the muscles at the back of your neck and between your shoulder blades. Now, as you inhale, keep pushing, but take your arms out to the side. Feel your shoulder blades come together. Lift your chin and look up. Take a deep breath here. Inhale. And as you exhale, bring your hands forward again and push forward. Tuck your chin around your upper back. Good. Inhale, open up. Keep pushing out away from you. Lift your heart up toward the ceiling. Look up. And then exhale, do the opposite. Keep your, or bring your arms forward out in front of you, even with your shoulders, and push. You can even tuck your tailbone a little bit, round your upper back. Let's do that a few more times. Inhale to open up, look up. Exhale, push out in front of you. Inhale, open, look up. Exhale, push. Feel your shoulder blades pull and spread. Inhale, open, feel your shoulder blades come together. You might even accentuate that pull, the bottom tip of your shoulder blades closer together. One more time, we're going to do this pushing forward. Really push. Push, push, push. Feel those shoulder blades pull apart. And then sit up. Okay. Find your way onto your hands and knees in quadruped position. Take your hands a little wider than your shoulders. Spread your fingers super wide and press into your hands and knees. Tuck your tailbone slightly, look forward, and stay here for a moment in tabletop position. Take a deep inhale. Exhale through your mouth. Okay, as you inhale, lift your sitting bones up, drop your belly, pull your heart forward and up between your arms and look up. And then as you exhale, push into your fingertips and your palms, press into your knees, tuck your tailbone toward the floor, tuck your chin towards your chest, round your upper back. Just a few cat-cows here, inhaling into cow pose, look up. Exhaling, push down into your hands and knees. Couple more, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. As you exhale this time, tuck your toes underneath your feet. Push back to downward facing dog. If you've got tighter hamstring muscles, you might keep your knees a little bit more bent here. But start to walk in place. Now, in downward facing dog, your butt needs to be the highest point of the pose. 
Bring your ears between your upper arms. Feet hip distance apart. Hands slightly wider than shoulder distance apart. Push the floor forward and away from you. With your hands, press your fingertips down into the ground. Now use these little steps to walk all the way forward toward the back of your hands. As you do, push away the floor with your hands. Feet hip distance apart, bend your knees slightly, interlace your fingers behind your back, and then lift your knuckles toward the ceiling, lift your shoulders away from your ears, and let your head hang and breathe. Okay, keep your knees pretty bent here, especially if the back of your legs is screaming. Remember, sending loving thoughts, even when you're uncomfortable, can be a very powerful thing. To remind yourself that you're perfect just the way you are, that having tight hamstrings or whatever else it is uh, doesn't make you any less um, awesome. <laughs> okay, place your hands on your hips. Inhale, lift your chest, look forward, coming halfway up. Exhale, press into your heels to stand up. Inhale, reach your arms out and up, bring your palms together overhead and look up. Exhale, bring your arms to your sides and stand tall in mountain pose, Tadasana. Inhale, reach back up. This is Urdhva Namaskarasana, when you bring your hands together overhead, upward salute. Exhale, fold forward, bend your knees, bring your fingertips to the ground, to the ground. Let your head hang. Inhale, lift halfway up, look forward, lengthen your spine. And then exhale, plant your palms, step back. For plank pose. Remember, hands shoulder distance apart, heels over the ball of your feet, push into your hands and your feet. And if you need to, you can come to your knees for a kneeling plank. Makes it slightly easier. Look forward, take a breath, lift your belly, tuck your tail. Great, and then bring your knees down. Okay, once again, tuck your tailbone, push into your hands, look forward. Now you're in kneeling plank. We're going to lower down to the ground like this. So the aim here is to try to keep your body the way it is. All you're going to do is bend your elbows to bring your body down. So start to bend your elbows as you do hug them in just a little bit, not tightly, just slightly. And try to keep your tailbone tucked. Try to lower yourself in one unit. Keep your shoulders from moving up around your ears. There you go. Now flip your feet, placing your toenails on the ground for a baby cobra pose. Start to pull your lower part of your shoulder blades together. As you inhale, lift your chest and look forward. Keep your elbows hugging in, toenails pressing down. And now push back to child's pose for a moment, literally. Good, and then inhale, come back forward to that kneeling plank. And once again, we're gonna practice this. Tuck your tailbone, push into your hands and your fingertips. And you're going to lower down, trying to keep your upper body the way it is. Just bend your elbows. Bending, bending, bending. Pull your shoulders away from your ears as you lower. And now inhale, curl up for cobra pose. And once again, exhale, push back. Inhale, come forward. Back to that kneeling plank. Exhale, try to slowly lower like this. Now, the tendency will be for your shoulders to rise up around your ears. Keep that from happening. Bend your elbows, hug them in slightly, slowly lower. Inhale, curl up for cobra, press your toenails down, pull your shoulder blades down your back. Exhale, go back to child's pose for a moment. Okay, how about one more of those? Inhale forward to kneeling plank. Exhale, hug your elbows in slightly. Try not to uh, let your hips drop first. Don't let your shoulders rise as you slowly lower. Inhale, curl up for cobra. Really pull the bottom tips of your shoulder blades down to broaden, spread your collarbones. Look forward, maybe even look up. And then child's pose. Good, inhale, hands and knees. Exhale. Down dog. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, hop or step to the top of your mat. Inhale, lift halfway, keep your fingertips on the floor, look forward, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold over, bent knees. 
Inhale, reach out and up as you stand up. Press into your heels. Really reach up with strength. Bring your palms together overhead. Exhale, return to mountain pose. Stand tall. Give me that proud body stance. Like, look at me. I'm perfect as I am. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees slightly. Lift your butt so your head can come down. Fingertips on the floor. Inhale, lifting halfway up. Exhale, step back. And you're going to slowly lower again like we were. Or you can try it with your knees up. So the idea when we lower from plank eventually is that we can keep our body in line. So no part comes down faster than the other. Flip your toes. Inhale, curl up for cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Awesome. So as you inhale, step your right foot forward, stepping toward your right thumb. Exhale, spin your back heel down. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Okay, so warrior one, front knee bent over your ankle, back leg straight and strong. Let's do a couple um, straight leg uh, and bent knee variations here. You're going to straighten your right leg. Pull your right hip back, pull your left hip forward, squeeze your inner thighs towards each other, and then exhale, re-bend your knee over your ankle. We'll do that a few times. Inhale, and try to square. Your hips are never gonna be square, but pull your right hip back, left hip forward, and then exhale, try to keep that as you bend your right knee. Inhale, straighten. Fix your hips. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten, fix your hips, exhale, bend. Last time, inhale, straighten, exhale, fix your hips, and bend your right knee. Now, if this pose seems fairly easy for you, I invite you to take your feet further apart. So step your back foot further back. Good. Take a deep inhale, stretch up. Now pretend you have something in your hands. As you exhale, you're gonna fold forward over your front leg. So keeping your arms, holding the imaginary thing, and then inhale, reach it back up. And then exhale, fold. So strengthening for the hips now. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up, straighten your elbows. Really hold that thing above your head, that fake thing. One more time, come up and fold forward. This time bring both hands to the inside of your right foot. Bring your right uh, left knee to the ground. Now push down into your palms or fingertips, whatever's on the floor, or if you're using blocks, press down into them. Pull your heart forward, let your pelvis drop down and look up. So you're doing a back bend in low lunge. Take a deep inhale here. Good, and as you exhale, you're gonna to start to pull your hips back and fold forward. Your right knee does not have to unbend here. We're not necessarily trying for a straight leg, unless you can do a straight leg easily. Inhale, come forward. Pull your heart forward and up, look up. Exhale, rock your hips back. Fold forward. A couple more, just like that. Inhale. And exhale. Nice and slow with control. Inhale. And exhale. Feel how your hips move, feel how your knee moves, how your spine moves, sending loving thoughts their way. Thank you for being my hips, my knees, my back. Thanks for the movement that you have today. Inhale, coming forward again, look forward. Exhale, take your right hand to the outside of your foot so you can step forward. Inhale, lift halfway up, look forward. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, reach out and up as you stand up. 
Exhale, bring your arms to your sides. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, pull forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, step back plank or kneeling plank. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, step your left foot forward towards your thumb. Exhale, spin your right heel down, back foot diagonal to the back of your mat. Inhale, rise up for a warrior one variation. Good, and then just feel your feet on the floor here for a moment. Straighten your back leg. Keep your front knee over your ankle. So this is the starting point. And just feel what your warrior one feels like. This is a pretty difficult standing poses, and really, to be honest, all the standing poses are hard. So as you inhale, that's what they're supposed to be. Start to straighten your left leg. Balance out your hips. So right hip and left hip are even with each other. And then exhale, try to keep that as you rebend. Inhale, come back. Left, left hip back, right hip forward. Exhale, try to keep that as you bend. So the way to try to keep that, my legs are shaking trying to do it, is to squeeze your inner thighs towards each other. You can even try to squeeze your feet towards each other. So same idea there. We have all these hidden things happening in the yoga poses. <laughs> so it's like somebody might be looking at this and being like, oh, that looks easy. But this is not passive. So you're really engaging your legs as you move your legs. Draw your low belly in, your low ribs in, and reach up with your hands. Elbows are straight. I remember the first time I did yoga after doing all these other exercise things, I was like, that's way too freaking hard. And I don't know why it's so hard because we're not doing a bunch of running around, kicking around, anything like that. We're not using any weights. But the trick is just the subtle work in yoga is very demanding. So we're gonna come back to warrior one and start to do um, our little folds. Inhale, keep your elbows straight and reach up. Pretend you're holding something over your head. You wanna keep a good grasp of that as you fold forward over your front leg. Inhale, lift your chest back up. So your legs stay still, it's just your upper body moving. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. Keep going. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, up. Exhale. Last time, my friends. Inhale, up. Pull from your belly. Reach up. Exhale, fold forward halfway, hold it. Keep your front knee bent over your ankle. Take a breath. Now bring your hands down to the inside of your left foot. Bring your right knee to the ground. Ah. Inhale, curl your chest up, pull your shoulders back, lift your heart, look up. And then exhale, start to pull your hips back as you fold to the inside of your left leg. Inhale. Coming forward, take a deep breath. Exhale, slowly moving back. Just notice how one of your hips has more movement than the other, that's totally normal. But it's, it can be interesting and it also can inform the way that we do poses. So if we're coming from a body care, body love viewpoint, body acceptance viewpoint, we have to work with the things that our body presents us with, not against them. We don't see our one less flexible side as our enemy. <laughs> it's just the way that we are. It's the way that we're built. You don't have to do more things on that side to make it more flexible. Often it won't work. We are the way that we are. A couple more times, inhaling and exhaling. Deep breaths through your nose. One more time. If 
here we go. Big step forward, inhale, come forward, lift your chest, take your left hand to the outside of your left foot, and then exhale, step your back foot forward. Inhale, lift up halfway, this is Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold over your legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, reach out and up as you stand up, bring your palms together overhead, look up. Exhale, bring your arms to your sides. Awesome. So let's do a standing balance pose. One of my favorite poses. Um, bring your feet together, bend your knees. Cross your right leg over your left. This is eagle pose, Garudasana. So you can keep your right toes on the floor, especially if you're developing balance here. If you're learning how to balance, keep your toes on the ground. But if you have your balance, or you don't mind being out of balance, you can lift your right foot up and try to bring it behind your left calf. Take your arms out to the side, turn your palms up. And then reach your arms forward. Cross your left arm on top of your right, bring your palms towards your face, and then turn your right hand to touch your left. Lift your elbows, pull your forearms forward. Such a gorgeous pose. Now it's actually easier to keep your legs in this position if you sit lower. It squeezes your legs a little closer together in adduction, makes it slightly easier, except for harder in your hips, right? Lift your elbows, pull your forearms forward, take another deep breath, breathe deeply into your upper back. Feel your rhomboids stretch, the middle of your trapezius stretch. And then release your arms and release your legs. See, it's a good one, right? <laughs> Bring your feet together, bend your knees, and cross your left leg over your right. Okay, so you, again, you can keep your toes on the floor. I find it more difficult on this side to wrap my foot, but I'm gonna try. So you can try to wrap your foot, or again, keep your toes on the floor for balance. Take your arms out to the side, turn your palms up, reach your arms forward. This time, right arm on top, hands towards your face, Turn your left hand to touch your right, lift your elbows, pull your forearms forward, and maybe sit a little lower. Notice how far forward you're leaning. Try not to lean too far forward. Maybe even right now try to pull your low ribs in and get a little taller in the pose in your spine, but sit lower in your hips. What is the, what's the body positive thought that you're thinking right now? The body acceptance thought. <laughs> I accept that this pose is hard. Take another breath. Release your hands, release your legs. Okay, stand back at the top of your mat. Oh, place your hands on your hips. And take your feet a little wider than hip distance apart. Start to turn your toes out to the side. Now you're gonna sit back in sort of like a chair pose variation. Reach your arms up now. So for some of you, this might be as low as you get. This might be like your squat pose. And others, you're gonna to start to sit lower, okay? So sit as low as you can. That's uh, fairly sustainable, but still challenging for you. And then start to push your knees out to the side. Push, push, push. Lift your arms a little higher and breathe. So squat pose, malasana, very important pose for our bodies. We actually can start to lose the ability to squat if we don't squat. And that might be okay for some people, like we don't all need to be able to squat down this far, but you can lose the ability to be able to squat down onto a toilet. <laughs> and I feel like that's kind of important. So take another breath here. That's also very, um, that's going to be pretty far down the line. <laughs> okay. So no matter where you are, you might have to use your hands to slowly lower yourself, but you're going to sit all the way down onto your butt. And then take your feet out in front of you, come onto your toe tip so your heels are lifted, and reach your arms straight ahead. Now, this variation of boat pose might be your variation. Draw your low ribs in, and then sit up taller through your spine. Okay, so if you feel like you can, you're gonna reach your right foot up, and then your left. You can point or flex your feet. I'm pointing my feet right now. Okay, if you've got a bigger abdomen, you're gonna keep your knees apart, otherwise you might be able to bring your legs together. Squeeze your legs together. Squeeze your big toes together. Good, and breathe. So holding boat is, in just boat and not doing a bunch of movements in it, is, can be actually 
more challenging than doing all this other crazy shit in it. So just holding here, breathing. Maybe you can start to even straighten your legs. No matter what you have with your legs, even if your toe tips are on the ground, start to bring your abdomen closer to your legs and your legs closer to your abdomen. So legs closer to belly, no matter where you are. One more breath. Good, and then bring your feet down to the floor. Wrap your arms around your legs. That can be a lot for your hip flexor muscles. And let your head hang. So keep breathing, let your head hang. So your hip flexor, flexors are at the front of your hips and also deep into your pelvis. Now, they, they flex your hips, so that's why they turn on during boat pose. And so that's not necessarily something we want to try to avoid. Uh, it's very strengthening for your hip flexors, but if we can try to get sort of a tummy tuck position, um, a curled position in this pose, then we can sort of take some of that pressure off of our hip flexors. So starting from here, reach your arms forward and start to pull your low ribs in and tuck your ribs toward the top of your pelvis and walk your feet a little closer to you. Now, Having your hands off the floor might be too hard. You could, especially if you're already tired, put your hands on the ground behind you and bend your elbows to lean back. Okay, lift onto the tippy toes of your feet, even if your hands are behind you, and you can either stay here, maybe this is enough for you, but again, pull your low ribs in, tuck your tummy, and then lean back. <laughs> lift your feet up. <laughs> I'm so glad I can't hear you guys right now yelling at me. Take your arms and your legs apart. So you're gonna give, so imagine you're like sitting out in front of you, you're gonna give yourself a full body hug, like you're gonna wrap your arms and legs around yourself and then start to do that wrap. So you're gonna cross your ankles and cross your arms, hug your imaginary self. And then inhale, open up. So your toes can still be on the floor if you're doing this modified, hands can be down and you can just do an imaginary hug with your hands, cross your ankles and then open back up with your toes on the floor. Okay, so this is one variation, and the other one I just showed would be slightly easier. So start to change which ankle comes on top and which arm comes on top. Big open hug, pull yourself in. I know we're all in need of more hugs right now, because we're on a uh, kind of hug restriction out there in the world. A really huge time of introspection here if you choose to take it with all this isolation, you know, you gotta really sit with yourself and evaluate what's important to you. Good, and hopefully part of that evaluation is not beating yourself up for not having a perfect body or whatever the fuck that means. Okay, one more time, open up, cross, hug, 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 and then bring your feet down, wrap your arms around your legs and let your head hang and breathe. One more deep breath here. Okay. So you're gonna come up to seated, or I mean to standing. You could rock back and come up to seated, or excuse me, standing. Or uh, you can roll over to one side and just stand up. So find your way back up. And let's kind of start to mix this stuff up that we've just learned. So inhale, open your arms out to the side, lift your chest, look up. And then exhale, fold forward over your legs, place your fingertips on the floor, bend your knees. Inhale, lift halfway up, look forward. Exhale, step your right foot back, come to high lunge, so your back heel is over your ankle. Uh, I mean, <laughs> your heel's over the ball of your foot. Inhale, reach up, stand up, and then exhale, reach your arms out to the side. Take a deep inhale here, lift your heart, and as you exhale, wrap your arms around yourself and tuck your tailbone, tuck your chin. Inhale, open back up, keep your front knee over your ankle, your leg is not moving, your legs stay, back leg stays straight, front leg stays bent and hug. Inhale, open. Exhale, hug. It can be 
alternating which arm is on top. Inhale, open. Exhale, hug. One more time. Inhale, open. Exhale, big hug. Okay, so if your right arm is not on top, go ahead and put it on top. Lift your elbows up and then take your hands and do eagle arms again. Lift your elbows, pull your forearms forward. Take a deep inhale, lift your eagle arms up. And then exhale, fold forward toward your front knee. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale, two, fold. It might fall like I just did, especially if you're on carpet underneath a yoga mat. <laughs> Inhale up. It's good. Just a little bit extra work. Good. Two more, just like that. Inhale, open. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, open your heart, open your arms. Good, take a deep inhale, reach straight up, look forward. Exhale, place your hands on the floor on the inside of your left foot. This time, step your right foot forward to the outside of your right hand. And once again, sit down and either do this higher squat position, or if you can, get low. Take a breath, look up. As you exhale, place your hands down, lift your butt up, drop your head. Inhale, lift halfway, turn your toes forward. Exhale, fold once again over your legs, bend your knees a little. Inhale, stretch out and up as you stand, bring your palms together, overhead look up. Exhale, bring your arms to your sides. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, open up your heart, lift your heart, look up. Take a deep inhale, stretch up again. Exhale, this time bend your knees and fold. Bring your feet underneath your hips, hip distance apart. Inhale, lift halfway, look forward. Exhale, step your left foot back, step back far. Left heel over the ball of your left foot, front right knee over your right ankle, and start to stand up into high lunge. Good. Take a deep inhale, reach your arms out to the side, pull your heart up, back leg super straight, and then exhale, give yourself a big hug, wrap your arms around your chest. Inhale, opening up. Again, challenge yourself, keep your legs still as your upper body moves. Exhale, hug it in. Inhale, open, lift your heart, look up. Exhale, big hug. Inhale, open. Exhale, hug. Inhale, open. Exhale, hug. Inhale, open up. Exhale, give yourself a hug with your left arm on top. And then inhale, lift your chest, wrap your arms together, come back to that eagle pose with your arms, lift your elbows, pull your forearms forward. We'll do a couple of these forward bends here. Inhale, lift your elbows, lift your chest. Exhale, fold forward over your front knee. Once again, your legs stay the same, just your upper body moving. Inhale, come up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. Just a few more. Inhale up. Part of love sometimes is that hard love. <laughs> so we give ourselves these moments to challenge uh, our muscles so that we can get stronger. It's the only way. Inhale up. Exhale, bring your hands to the floor on the inside of your right foot. Big step forward to the outside of your left hand. Sit down into your variation of squat pose. Next time you inhale, reach your arms up. Good, and you're just holding that imaginary thing. I keep imagining like either a beach ball or a big heart filled with my self-confidence, <laughs> which is lacking sometimes. Take another breath. 
Now press off your heels to stand. Keep your arms reaching. And then bring your arms to your sides. Deep inhale through your mouth. Exhale through your mouth. Okay. Find your way into seated. So sit down. In other words, sit. <laughs> Take your legs out in front of you and just start to shake out your legs a little bit. Ah. And now take your legs out wide. Don't take your legs so don't take your legs so far out wide that you can't just sit here, okay? So not a huge stretch in your inner thighs, just far enough out to the side that they're much wider than your hips, but not too challenging, okay? Now bring your right heel in towards your groin. And we're gonna do one of my favorites here, a version of one of my favorites. Uh, revolved head to knee pose, part of Vita Janya Shishasana. So you're gonna keep your left hand on your left shin. Turn your heart to the right. Inhale, lift your right arm up, look to the right. And then exhale, slide your left hand down your left leg as you fold to the left, reach your right arm over your face. Good, so you're just reaching straight ahead and if you happen to grab your foot, if it's right there, then, then that's okay but don't reach down for your foot and start to forward fold in the posture. Keep your chest turning uh, to the side here. So the left side of your ribcage turning forward. And breathe, of course. Flex your left toes towards your shin so your left leg remains active. Good, take another breath. And one more. Next time you inhale, reach up and over to come out of the pose. Ah, take your right leg out to the side. Bend your left knee, bring your left heel towards your groin. Place your right hand on your right leg, turn your chest to the left. Sit up tall and reach your left arm up, inhale, stretch up. Exhale, side bend to the right, slide your right hand down your thigh, down your shin, wherever it gets to. And then stretch your left arm over your face. Maybe it's even touching your face. And really reach forward. Keep your right foot active. Flex your right toes toward your shin. And push the big toe side of your right foot forward. Keep your right leg active. So keep your right knee engaged by pulling up on your knee. You'll feel your quadricep muscles turn on. Take another deep breath. Notice how your breath changes in these side bends. It's harder to breathe because you're back bending. One more breath. Your back is bending to the side. Inhale, reach up and over to come out of the pose. Awesome. So bring your right knee in again. And this time, take your left leg out to the side, bend your left knee, and then bring your left heel toward your left butt. You can turn your foot so the top of your foot is on the floor, or you can leave the big toe side of your foot on the floor. It's up to you on the left. And now turn your chest towards your right leg and start to fold over your right leg. You can stack your arms, or if you have blocks, you could put them underneath your head. Just folding here. You're using your body weight to kind of smush your right leg. You let your left hip be off the ground. Let the left side of your body just totally relax. And then using your hands, push yourself away from the floor. And we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. So switch your feet. And bring your right heel close to your right butt. You can turn your right foot so the top of your foot is on the floor or leave the big toe side. One is not better than the other unless it is for you. So just feel that out. Turn your chest toward your left leg. And then you're just going to lay on top of your leg. <coughs> 
and you can stack your arms, rest your forehead, and breathe. Let the right side of your body relax. The right side of your lower back especially will want to turn on and grab. See if that's happening. Soften there. And take one more full breath. Use your hands to push away from the floor. So if you can think about like where does your mind take you when we get into those more still moments, it's usually when that kind of reel of internal dialogue and stories starts to play. Go ahead, find your way onto your back, please. <clears throat> With your knees bent and your feet on the floor. Cross your right knee over your left, and then bring your knees towards your chest. So this is gonna be a big hip stretch. Uh, you gotta probably lift your head, bring your feet towards you, because you need to grab your left ankle with your right hand, right ankle with your left hand, and then lay back down. And now you're gonna pull your feet apart and up toward you. Um, to kind of up toward where your head is. And then breathing here, feeling the stretch in your hips. So the interesting thing about stretching is that really it, the benefits of stretching are very short term, but the benefits of stretching psychologically, like the way you feel from stretching, even though that's short term as well, can be so good to um, it, give, yourself, give yourself that moment to stretch uh, really at any time because it puts you back in your body and kind of out of your mind and unless when you stretch you start to tell yourself that oh that's so tight there must be something wrong um, so just see see observe that about yourself like where what do you feel when you stretch not only physically but uh, mentally emotionally Take another breath here. And then release your legs and switch legs. Take your left leg on top, right leg at bottoms, and hold your left ankle with your right hand, right ankle with your left hand. Pull your feet apart and also pull them up toward your head, almost kind of like up toward your ears. And then breathe deeply and just notice what you feel. Notice what you feel and notice how you feel about what you feel. <laughs> That's kind of the yogic way, right? We, we go deeper. We take that next layer. And um, accepting our bodies is much more than how we look. Like you might be in a part of your life where you're, you're kind of fighting with that image of yourself. But just make sure that the, the body image that you have that you want is actually an image of yourself, that it's attainable within yourself and it's not just wanting to kind of be someone else in someone else's body. And sometimes the weight that we need to lose is not a physical weight. It's more of a mental weight that we really are putting on ourselves. Take another breath here. And then release your ankles, place your feet on the floor, and you're just gonna move your knees side to side. And let your hips move as your legs move. Uh, 
And at this point, you still might be breathing fairly deeply. You're gonna start to let that deep breathing go, let your belly breath go, and start to shift into your natural breath. And then we're moving toward Shavasana. So if you prefer not to lay flat on your back, you might grab something and place it underneath your knees and that can help uh, any discomfort in your lower back. If there's any other position that you feel like you need to do or you'd like to take instead of Shavasana, that's always an option as well. Otherwise, start to take up all of the space, at least on your mat. So take your feet wider than your hips, push your heels forward and then relax the bottom of your feet. Soften at your ankles and the back of your legs. Let your hips be heavy. Now push down the back of your head so you can lift your heart and pull your shoulders down your back and a little bit closer together underneath you. And then lay your chest back down. You can really have your arms wherever they feel comfortable. Or really, your entire body wherever it feels comfortable. So just placing your hands wherever they feel secure and safe. And then close your eyes. If you go to close your eyes and you notice that you're uncomfortable in any way, please uh, help yourself out. Even if it's going pee, <laughs> you can get up, go pee, and then come lay back down. It's going to be okay. Let's do a big cleansing breath to really start to shift gears here. So you're going to inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth with sound. Take a deep inhale. Ah, and then one more time. Ah, and we'll just take a few minutes here to rest. Take a moment here as you're still in this rested state of mind, in this settled and safe place. And feel how you feel when you feel this way. Notice how your body feels. Your body is a direct way for you to experience pleasure and pleasure heals 
you can't experience pleasure without feeling safe, without feeling um, in control in some ways. You are in control of your thoughts for sure. And you can send thoughts of safety by fully accepting where you're at. Especially right now. When you're ready, you can start to bring some movement back. Really do whatever your body naturally wants to do, what it naturally goes to do. And then take your time in the next few breaths to come back to a comfortable seated position where you're sitting up tall with your eyes closed. Personally, I, I'd like to be done with the struggle against myself and specifically against um, my own body, the way it looks, the way it moves. I want to love myself and I, with this practice, I'm, I'm hoping to uh, share that intention with you that acceptance comes not from the way that we look, but really um, it's a state of mind. It's, it's allowing integrating and being comfortable in our skin and we start to realize that our body is not the only thing that's carrying us we have a heart we have emotions we have thoughts we have pasts so it does take some commitment but we can shift gears into self-love And leave your hands where they are, bring them together in front of your heart. And together, let's sing the sound of Om. Take a deep inhale. Om. Thanks so much for taking this class. Namaste.